friends today we are going to solve the problem from the ncert example 3.6 so in this problem we have a, a cube of resistors so each resistor is r equal to 1 ohm is given so this cube is connected with a, a 10 volt battery del 10 volt cell with negligible internal resistance and the amount of current leaving from this cell is said to be 3i so this is given in the problem so what we are going to find so determine the equivalent resistance and the current along each edge of the cube so if you want to find my current i should know the equivalent resistance because I, since i know my emf so to find my equivalent resistance i should solve the problem series and pro series and parallel combination but in the given problem I cannot solve using my series and parallel combination of resistors since it is in the cubical combination is quite complicated. So what I am going to do? So I am going to use my Kirchhoff loop rule to solve the problem. So how can we solve the problem? Because of the symmetry of the cube. See we have a cube. If you are rotate the uh, cube what is happening? There is no change which called symmetry. There will be symmetry of the cube. So using this symmetry. And using my Kirchhoff loop rule, I am going to first find my equivalent resistance and then find my current. I will explain to you how to solve the problem. So, first I am going to label the edges. So, it is my A, B, C, D, okay, lower portion of the cube. The upper portion of the cube, I can simply write for simplicity A prime, B prime, C prime, and this is going to be D prime. So, this is going to be, I can simply take it as my E, right. So, what I am going to write here, what is going to be symmetry? So, instead of taking these two H, if we take these two H, the same current will enter and same current will leave. Instead of taking this H, if I take AC, if I connect this uh, battery, this cell with this AC, I am going to the same amount of current entering and same amount of current is leaving because all the resistors are equal, R equal to 1 ohm. Totally, we have a 12 resistors, right? So, first I am going to start with the junction rule. Junction rule means the amount of current under the junction that is equal to amount of current leaving from the junction. So, first I am going to start with junction rule. Listen carefully. The amount of current entering here is going to be 3i. So, the amount of current entering here is going to be i. Here is going to be i. Here is going to be again i. So, the amount of current entering point A equals the amount of current leaving from point A. So, the current coming from here to here will be I. Then it is split into two parts because here also same resistor, here also same resistor. So, this is going to be I by 2. This is going to be again I by 2. Right? I by 2 and I by 2. And then this current is entering here. This is leaving here. So, the current across this is going to be I by 2. The current across is going to be I by 2 right next for this guy so the current across this resistor is going to be i by 2 the current across this resistor is also going to be i by 2 right so next uh, i'm going to solve for this point so the current entering here is going to be i by 2 the current entering is going to be i by 2 the amount of current entering at point b is going to be i so this one i by 2 and this one i by 2 from here coming together which will form i the amount of current entering this is going to be i so again, this current in here entering is by i by 2. This current entering from this B to B prime is going to be i by 2. So again, this is going to be i. So the current entering from here to here is going to be i by 2. The amount of current entering from here to here is going to be i by 2. Again, this is going to be current entering is going to be i. So from here i, 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 the amount of current leaving from here is going to be 3i. So if you are considering any uh, corners of the cube will get the same effect. So that is why it is called symmetry, right. So uh, using the using my Kirchhoff loop rule, next time I am going to solve the problem. So using my Kirchhoff loop rule, I am going to consider a loop of A, B, C, C prime E, this, this outer loop, okay. A, B, C, C prime E and A. So, I am going to using my Kirchhoff rule solve the to find my uh, equal resistance of this network. So, 
the resistor the current is leaving from here being 10. So, instead of taking 10 I can simply take it as E ok E minus so this is my loop right here my loop direction and current direction are the same right. So, instead of I, I can substitute 10 here but I am not going to substitute 10 now because I just want to find my <coughs> equivalent resistance. So, instead of 10 I can simply put E. So, here the potential drop across this resistor I can simply take it as R into I the potential drop across this this is take it as because same direction minus R into I by 2 here again I take it my minus of R into I equal to 0. So, if I write this equation so E minus so I can simply take it as 2 minus 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 5 by 2 right. So, minus 5 by 2 I into R equal to 0 then my equation I can simply write here E okay. yeah E equals to 5 by 2 I into R this is my equation 1. I am writing my E m of in terms of I n R R is given I we are going to find ok. So, first I am going to write my the R equivalent R equivalent I can simply write what is my Ohm's law V is equal to I R R is equal to V by R is going to be E by so E by I 3 I. So, if I substitute my equation E value here I can get my R equivalent equals to 5 by 2 I into R by 3 I one nothing total M of by total current. So, I I gets cancelled so this will become 5 by 6 into R. So, this is very very important relation. So, this is called your equivalent resistance of this network. So, using series and parallel combination we are not able to solve this problem. So, using your pitch of loop rule we can find the unknown sorry the uh, equal resistance of this circuit. So, next uh, what I am going to do here. So, next I am going to take yeah. So, current. So, the total current I can simply write. So, 3i equals to current equals to V is equal to I R, I is equal to V by R ok. So, V is going to be E by R equivalent. So, I can simply write 10 by what is my R equivalent 5 by 6 into R. So, 5 by 6 into R right. So, if I simplify this I am going to value of what? It is going to be 12 yeah I am correct. 12 into R anyway my R is going to be 1. So, R is nothing but 1 it is going to be 12 ampere. So, 3 I equals to 12 ampere that is for my I equals to 4 ampere. So, this is the amount of current entering in the each edges. So, here is going to be 1 4 ampere, here is 4 ampere, here is 4 ampere. So, the total current from this cell is going to be 12 ampere. So, yeah. So, this is how we are going to solve this problem. If you this like this video, video, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel for the more content. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.